after that super long video from yesterday on student loan forgiveness and my plan to make a concerted effort to invest in the sneaker brand, specifically Nike and Adidas, I'm still sitting here filming. Yeah, so this will be short, I promise you. I may trigger some people again, but no, I don't intend to own the traditional all white Nike Air Force One low anymore. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video on Talks with TJ. And I, I said what I said in the opening. No, I don't intend to now. I know this shoe is a staple in our culture. Of course, I've owned many, many pairs. Like you automatically know summer, you buy an all, all white pair of Air Force Ones. Back to school, same thing. Family picture, same thing, right? It's just, it's ingrained in us, that pair, that shoe. Uptown, Fazo, whatever you would like to call it. But I think it's okay to be honest and giving it the same truthful treatment as the Plastic Panda. The construction on that shoe, like the quality of the leather, especially if you're forced to buy smaller sizes quite possibly, like in grade school, it's not good. It's quite questionable. It's not great. So instead of that, because I owned a pair of the all white forces, I owned a pair. I actually got them on discount while still working at Kids Foot Locker. But I just realized looking at those in comparison to another pair I got in, they didn't hold, they didn't stand up like at all. And I'm talking about the Air Force One Shadow. So this is a remix on the traditional Air Force One. It's for women and you will have the stacked double nuances all over the shoe, whether it's on the midsole or the eye stays or the different swooshes. Yes, they're, they're, it's stacked. It's double. You're seeing two. It's kind of like Sakai. But when I paid attention to the quality of material used on that, versus what we get just with the everyday release they throw out there. No, I just gotta love myself more. just gotta respect uh, the money I'm spending a little bit more. So if I intend to add any additional pairs, which I'm sure I will over time, I think it's better, or at least a better use of uh, my money and maybe yours, to just ID a pair on Nike's website because you can select premium leather or purchase the craft pairs when they come out. Like when those are posted and it's like the Nike Air Force One craft, that leather is just, it's far better. It's a better use of money. That's the easiest way I can say it. You're, you can still get a pair that's all white, goes with everything. You are paying respect to what we all know and love in the game. But at least the material, like like people laugh and joke that the plastic panda creases within one wear or one you know one wear, like using it the first day. And Air Force One is not that different these days. Like it's really not. I know people that will literally not wear them past like the third wear. They have just like pairs and pairs of Air Force One sitting there. They don't wear them past like the third the third wear. They just donate them to somebody else at that point, which I'm all for the donating. I love that aspect of their, you know, behavior. But at least for me, I, I just can't see myself doing that, knowing that I have the option to ID a pair on Nike. Yeah, it'll cost you a little bit more, but things of value and that last longer, they usually will cost you a little bit more. So I actually have a double up of the Air Force One Shadow. Um, shout out to being able to work on Outfit Grid and Nike um, on a project. So I have a pair from that and it's just stowed away. And then I have a current pair that I wear. And again, I love these so much more than just the traditional one at this point. It really is the case now. You can get a women's pair, you can get women's size, you can get men's size, you can get grade school sizing in the all white Air Force One low. I totally get that. But have you seen a craft pair in hand? Have you seen the premium leather ID pair in hand? Okay, listen, Nike by you is the way to go. Same way Nike by you is the better choice if you want a Nike dunk low, like at this time. If you are granted access to that, which I think I may have been, but it just, I didn't even care at that point. Uh, you can actually just go ahead and when you look at the pair side by side and other people have done videos on this on, on this platform. If you look at those shoes side by side, what Nike gives you for just the GR of a plastic panda versus what you get if you decide to do a Nike by you for a Nike dunk low in black and white, it's far better. 
select far better option. All I'm saying, explore your options. All right. So that's all I got. I promise this, is, this will be kept short. Um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to check out all the videos from this weekend. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.